Oh, I just re- I um so remember that uh pipeline um from uh like remember that pipeline? It it was never discussed what country it's about. And I think you may find this a little bit suspicious. <clears throat> Hunter Biden. Uh but yeah, the pipeline he uh, got rid of and he planned to get rid of day one of president is a pipeline with Canada. No, that's not a joke. Oh, Biden, 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 Biden. No. Just no. In general. Remember that, uh, oh shoot, I think I said this in a published video. Yeah, but, um, uh, I told, uh, I said, um, Biden managed to piss off Canada, and this was what I was referring to. Yeah. But first background information. I'm going to do a more uh, Nikocada Avocado style series on this one. Canada has a lot of oil. Big surprise. And big surprise, they want to sell it to the U.S. So this $8 billion project um, in a partnership with TC Energy, it's a Canadian company. They already, so TC Energy already has, um, uh, pipelines in the U.S., the Keystone Pipeline and the Keystone Gulf Pipeline. Those, uh, those, um, uh, those pipelines carry crude oil, and to major, and they and they go to major, uh, oil refineries. The pipeline was first considered, and it was supposed to be, um, a place from, um, western... Actually, let's just go take a look at a map. It's uh, coming from around Al- uh, Alberta. And the pipeline um, managed to jump through all the environmental and regulatory hurdles. And it was approved by Canada in 2010. But the problem was the U.S. I know, big surprise. Now, the pipeline, and more, uh, more, uh, more specifically, the Keystone Pipeline, has leaked before. And even if the, uh, the, the, um, the company proves that, hey, this design is better and it shouldn't leak, number one, there's two issues. People don't really, like, have oil pipelines right next to them. Number two... Even if everybody else agreed, some activists would disagree. From the Huffing- Huffington Post, and under the section Environment, new document shows oil industry even more evil than we thought. Oil companies uh, coordinate a cover-up of climate risk, stretches back decades, and rifles big to get back and rivals that of big tobacco companies. In 1968, a pair of uh, you get the point. And you get the point. Some people viewed uh, the uh, oil companies as evil. And oh, President Obama had not made, or not made a decision there. And he used the election coming up as a excuse to delay more. He also basically encouraged them to, you know, rerun. And, um, in, uh, in Obama's State Department, uh, they had reviewed and found out that the pipeline would not contribute to, uh, carbon emissions. Obama still rejected the plan, despite the State Department's, uh, study, um, Obama cited climate change concerns, and then came in Trump, as we all know, um, but, uh, headline from the Wall Street Journal, Trump administration grants permit to James Canada for Keystone XL pipeline. The Pipeline project still faces opposition for from two U.S. states as well as environmental groups, but a in a headline from NPR, a setback for for Trump judge blocks Keystone XL pipeline construction, and this was so more research could be done about the pipeline, and the reason why the judge 
uh, said uh, did not or said more studies had to be due. Um, was the State Department studies fell short, even though Obama and Trump um one deregulated the EPA, one strengthened it. Both State Departments passed. Yeah, this is fine. Now there are a variety of reasons why Trump and Trudeau wanted the Keystone Pipeline. That's a movie I would pay to see. Donald Trump meets Justin Trudeau. Now, in another headline from the readers, Canada has been grappling for years with Congress or con congestion on pipelines that caused guilt of oil in storage tanks in Alberta, driving prices down uh, and spurring the province to impose production curtailments to drain record inventories. And uh, TC Energy, um, from the National Review, the company reached a deal with four labor unions in, a, in August to build the pipeline. In November, it reached an agreement with five indigenous tribes that says tribes will take roughly, uh, seven, uh, wait, 785 mil, million uh, ownership stake. And the project was on its way. Then Joe Biden took office, and the project died. And Joe Biden killing the uh, pipeline has consequences. Besides potentially yielding 48,000 tons of scrap. No, that's not a joke. Thousands of union jobs lost, just gone. And again, from the National Review, innovation and technological improvements have uh, substantially reduced greenhouse gas emissions associated with Canada and tar sands production by 30% since the 1990s, as Canadian government calculates. So, don't you think the American people would want a more greener source? One that hasn't uh, der been derived from oil wars? is closer and cheaper to uh to the american people and in a last ditch effort attempt tc um energy pledged a zero carbon emission goal and also promised to hire basically create a union biden you don't piss off the unions. And also by canceling the key uh, stone pipeline, the Wall Street Journal reported refiners in the Midwest and the Gulf Coast are uh, geared toward accepting the sort of heavy oil Canada can produce and could now be forced to buy more oil from adversarial states like Russia and Venezuela. And the source PolitiFact, by revoking the Keystone Pipeline permit, Biden is destroying 11,000 jobs. They read that half true. Half true? What do you mean? And uh, TC Energy in the PolitiFact article says they were planning to employ, to complete the project around 11,000 people. So, PolitiFact, what's half true about that? Something very interesting. And PolitiFact says those were just the estimated jobs. And since the pipeline was never built, we couldn't know the actual, so we're going to have to go based off of the estimates. And they also point out most of them were temporary. They still were jobs, though. But, still, the, uh, the pipeline may not even affect the U.S., as they may just import it. So, Biden opted to get rid of a more efficient way to transport crude oil. And now people are just going to start trucking it. Wait, I'm just getting breaking news. That statement was slightly dishonest. There, uh, there are plenty of other pipelines uh, being expanded, and 
they will probably send more, but they aren't going to be at the scale of the uh, Pipeline decks. Also, yeah, kind of dishonest, but uh, hey, at least I made up for it. And oh wait, what's this? If you add all the pipelines up, the entire project it doesn't it it doesn't even affect anything, and they're all basically equivalent. Oh. That's sad. So this, uh, this 12-year-long endeavor, lasting three presidencies, is a waste. Thanks, Obama. Wait, no, that's Biden.